Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tyrone Southern's Kitchen back at you with another video. All right, today, 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 what we're going to be doing? We're going to be doing a, a strawberry cheese pound cake with strawberry glaze. And we got a 12 ounce tub of strawberries. They had the green uh, hugs on them. And what we did, we cut the, the, the ends, green tips off of them. And we put them in a bowl. And what we're going to do, we're going to put this in our blender. And we're going to blend this up here, right here for about three or four minutes. We want it to get real fine. So we're going to blend this right here up and then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing after that. I ain't going to, uh, I don't want to, because when I blend the blender, make a lot of noise. So I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to go ahead and do this first and show you, show you after I get through. Stay tuned. All right. We don't blend this up and this is what we have. And what we're going to do, we're going to take one fourth a cup of this this strawberry sauce here. And we're going to put this on, on the side for our frosting. We're going to get just a little bit more. Just a little dab more. Now we're going to put this on the side for our frosting that go on the top of it. going to be out for our glaze. That's for later. Now, what we're going to do with this here, we're going to pull this here in the cup. No, not in the cup, but in the pot. We're going to pull the what we got here in the pot, get you a spatula and make sure you get all that out of there. Get all that out of there. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put a half a cup of sugar in here. Bring the camera up some so you can see. And then we're going to cut a lemon. We're going to cut a lemon in half. And we're going to squeeze this half of lemon juice in, in, into this, uh, into this uh, pot. Take the seeds out. Want to take the seeds out. Then you want to squeeze that juice in, into the pot. Just like that there. Now we're going to wash our hands. And what we're going to do next, we're going to get our whisk, turn our stove on, and we're going to cook this right here. For about five or six minutes. We're going to let it come to a boil. And we're going to keep stirring it. This is going to be our parade that's going to go into our cake batter. Turn it on high to get the heat started good. Hope everybody's doing fine today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We letting that there heat up. You know. We'll bring it back soon as it heat up. All right, it's starting. It's just going to start to boil a little bit. And you want to keep... Keep a stir on this right here. It might try to foam up. If you can just start doing that, you can turn the oven down. Not the oven, but the stove down. But we want it, we want it this time to cook down a little more than what we have here. It's gonna get a little thicker. It's starting to come up. 
Take it off, take, turn the eye down just a little bit. You're gonna keep it stirring. You're gonna keep it stirring. You might have to remove it from the heat. Keep, keep stirring. Keep stirring. Like this right here. We'll bring you back when we get it right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just send them cook down some. So we're gonna take it off the eye. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna pour this in a bowl. We're gonna pour this in the bowl. And then we're gonna put this in the refrigerator. And let this cool off. All right, we got our flour. We got our salt, we got our baking powder, and we got our baking soda. We got a teaspoon of baking powder, teaspoon of baking soda, and one eighth of salt. So what we're gonna do, get our spoon. Get my little other whisk here. Get our whisk. Whisk this up a little bit, and then we're going to sift it. Go ahead and put it in our sifter. Put it in our old school sifter. Well, it was kind of cold today, boy, where I'm at. Down here in the big, big Florida state. Kind of cold this morning. You know, Florida used to that hot weather. We ain't used to that. We ain't used to no cold weather. We ain't, we ain't with all that cold weather stuff. Oh boy. Cold weather. Man. We like it when it's hot. And we sift and make sure we ain't got no lumps or nothing in this stuff. And we also making sure we get blending the baking powder and baking soda in there good as well. We ain't have no lumps in that one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna sit this out to the side. We'll come back to that. Then what we're gonna do now, we're gonna bring our other pot. Sit our pad down. Oh yeah, that's what I forgot to tell y'all. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. You remember the last time I did a video, I made a cake. And my blender tore up on me. I had to go borrow my mama's blender. But guess what? The Lord blessed me through somebody. Ordered me a big boy blender. One that I had been wanting. And yeah, I say the Lord blessed me. Do somebody that heard me talk about it. My blender was gone. And I think supposed to ship to him. It should be him Friday. I'm going to make a video of it. Taking it out the box and everything. Sure enough here. But this right here, I hate you. I, I sure enough didn't want to make this cake. Because I, I, I really didn't want to use this. Now this old school blender here. Now this real old school blender here. You want to talk about old school I told you I had to go and buy it from my mama. Mama say she ain't got to make cakes no more. She said she got a son now making cakes, so she don't need to. She say you can have that. You, you, you making cakes now. Why well, I got to make cakes? So now since I've just been touching all that, let me wash my hands now. And we finna get started mixing our uh, butter, sugar, and cream cheese together. That's what we finna mix here. Yeah. We didn't get our butter in here. 
You know everything room temperature. In case I have to tell you again, yeah, everything room temperature. Go ahead and put three sticks of butter in here. We put our eight ounce of pound cream cheese as well. No, I'm putting two sticks of butter in here. My bad. I'm putting two sticks of butter in the cream cheese. We're gonna put my two cups of sugar in. And we're gonna blend this up. And we'll be back. We'll be back. Stay just stay. Don't go nowhere. Just stay stay right where you at now. Don't move. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna mix that up. Now what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and put our eggs in. We got five large eggs. We're gonna do them one by one. And drop one in there. Yeah, I can't wait to can't wait to fry it to come to Lord's will. Cause this thing him, boy, this thing him ain't gonna do it. Put our two tablespoons of strawberry extract in. Then we're gonna go finish up with our eggs. Head off to the side. I'm gonna need that later. We add another egg in. All right, we're going to go ahead and set our oven to 325. We're going to set our oven to 325. And we just got a, a cup of our puree that we have made over there on the stove. We got a cup of that there. We know, took it out of the uh, refrigerator and it'll cool down. So now what we're going to do, we're going to start adding our flour. We're going to add a little bit of flour. We're going to add a little bit of puree. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to add a little flour. We're going to start mixing. Add 
gonna look away. gonna do we got some red gel we got some red gel you can get this at the store we're gonna put a couple of drops of, on, of this right here on it gonna put a couple of drops And we're going to mix it up. Just a little bit more. I wanted it a little darker than that. Use a little bit more, that should do it. What I'm looking for. side him so we got a strawberry looking cake okay get rid of this right here hope I don't never have to use this over here no more never again so what we're gonna do we got our butt pan already and we're gonna come along and go ahead and wait out the oven get the temp reach the temperature of 325. I should have been turned it on and I like to wait I guess and uh we need that so that's what our batter looked like that's what it looked like and what we're gonna do we're gonna uh we go ahead and grease our butt can pan. Set this out the way a little bit. There you go. I heard it beep. She beep. This can't help but out. It is out. I use this one right here instead then. All right. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and pour our batter. 
and Yeah, spatula. Turn it around a little bit. Gotta get all that out of there. Then we're gonna get a paper towel. Clean our edges. You know, it is just a little bit. Just like that there. We don't want that on that. Like that there, neither. We don't want that on there. All right, so now what we're gonna do, get a little squirrel in it like that, girl. Then we're gonna make sure there ain't no air bubbles in it. Get a little spin like this, I'm working. Make sure it get even all the way around. Like that there, like we doing right there, that there, like that there. See how it's moving out like that there now? Gonna be like flush. Just like you shaking it like that there. Get that off. I don't want the nothing on, on top, even though it's gonna rise up anyway. Then we're gonna put this in the oven on 325. And we're gonna let it bake for about an hour. And if 10 or 15 minutes, we'll check it. We'll check it within a, an hour. You always want to put a pan up under your cake. This, 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 this butt, that, that pan right there, it got the split to it. So you have to put powder, flour on the corners on the, all the way around the side for no leaks won't seep through, but sometimes it do. So you put a pan up under it. You ain't got to worry about nothing leaking at the bottom of your stove. So we're going to clean this kitchen up. We're going to come back and we're going to make our icing. Cream cheese, strawberry icing. All right. Finna make our frosting. We got a... What we're going to do here? We got our cream cheese, huh? We got four ounces of cream cheese. A half a block of cream cheese. We're gonna put two cups of sugar, powdered sugar in it. Get us two cups of this powdered sugar here. Two.
Okay, so we need some more. We're gonna set this to the side. Set this to the side. What we're gonna do? We're gonna beat this up a little bit, break it down. What's going on? Break it down a little bit. Break that cheese down. Just like that duck. Then we got a little bit of our strawberry puree that we gonna pour in here. Mm, wasting it all on me. Gotta be careful. Not to move too fast. You got to use all that parade. Don't throw none of it away. Give me a spatula. Don't throw none of it away. If you do it just like I said, you will. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and put all that in there because. All that on enough. All oh, that on enough. Just like that there. Now we got to beat all these lumps out now. You can have you can use a blender. It'll be a lot easier. Let me put me a a, a tablespoon of vanilla, not vanilla, but a strawberry stripe in there. blender stay tuned all right we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna blend this up a little bit put that little thing up under here gonna do we're gonna put a little just a little dab of uh red coloring on it and get it a little darker than that got some up here somewhere yeah it's some right here i'm gonna put just a little drop two drops see how it look after that.
I wanted it a little darker than that, so I put two drops. Just put that should do it. That's what I'm looking for. That's the color I'm looking for. That's right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I read our strawberry. All right, dog, I got that dowel on my hand. My strawberry uh, glaze is finished. This is what we're looking like. Our strawberry glaze is finished. So we're going to bring you back when the cake come out the oven. And we're going to finish cleaning up this mess I got going on here. And we'll be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the cake just came out the oven. Now I got to sit here and cool off for a while, about 15 minutes at the longest. Then we're going to bring it back, bring it back, and then we're going to flip it and put the icing on it. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to dump this cake over. We're going to go ahead and dump this cake over. Still hot. Uh, I'm going to say this here though. When you are, uh, I used that red gel, what I was putting in here, and, and when I put it, when I put the cake, but, um, but mixing it when I put my strawberry sauce in, and I was using this red gel here. This red gel here, it didn't give me, give me the color I really wanted. I should have used my red food coloring. The red food coloring like I did with the uh, frosting. So what I'm going to do. Instead of putting the uh, gel that I put in here, put in this cake here. I'm going to put the food, uh, put the amount of food color that you want to also put in here. To get the red look that you probably want to get. But uh, it's still going to work out fine. But I put that in the description box for you can get the right color that you may want. And that's a pink color like this right here. That's the color I really wanted this sound to be. But the red sauce, strawberry sauce didn't quite do it. So we're going to let this finish cooling off. And we're going to bring you back and we're going to put this glaze on it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the icing on this cake. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put the icing on this here. Go ahead and we're going to. 